Hey, so I got a package today from Bad Adder Drum Gear. Uh, they sent me over a couple of drum pads, so I'm going to unbox them. Uh, I literally just got it today, so I'm pretty stoked. Um, I've I've seen their drum pads on Instagram a bunch, uh, but I've never played them. They look super different, like, they don't look like other drum pads, so I'm pretty, pretty stoked to be able to play them and try them out. So Bad Adder is a drum company from uh, the States, I think they're in California, and um, they have really unique looking drum pads, and uh, I, I really, really love drum pads, obviously. So, I'm pretty stoked to check this stuff out. Let me just get this little slip thing out of the way. Okay, cool. So, I got two boxes. Let's start with this one. Which one feels heavier? This one feels heavier, so I'll do this one first. I don't know where my logic came in with that. That's just how I'm going to do it. Sweet. Okay, so this is their uh, core marching pad. Well, I say marching pad, but I didn't mean to. Uh, this is their core pad in red, which is sweet. Oh, it looks awesome. Sweet, like, wood burned logo in the bottom. I love that. That looks sweet. This is my first time seeing these in person, if you didn't guess that. Um, this is awesome. Okay, yeah, so this is their core pad. A uh, little bit about it, it's a birch plywood bottom. Uh, this one is the red stained one. I believe the other one's black. I think they only have the two colors right now, I'm not really sure. Uh, this is obviously the, the red one. So, this one, sorry, I just really want to hit it before I say anything else. Cool. It sounds and feels really nice. It feels really good. And it's not as loud as I thought. I thought it was going to be a lot louder because of the rubber on top. But uh, yeah, so birch plywood base. It's a 10 inch playing surface, this one. Um, it's got the layer of, it's got the recycled rubber on top, which is awesome. And it's, I think, high density foam, closed cell, high density foam. That's what this stuff is. It feels really good. It doesn't have like a ton of rebound, but it's not not bouncy. It feels really good and it's pretty light. This pad is like, it's pretty light. So definitely portable. It feels great. It feels good. Okay, I wanna do the next one here. So that's cool. I really like the logo. Like, I think that looks awesome. Okay, this one. So this one is the one like I'm super excited for because I saw this pad. This is the pad that made me follow them on Instagram. Um, I'm not gonna say too much about it, I'm just gonna show it to you because it's pretty awesome. These are sweet. This is cool. Oh man. Again with the bottom, this is sweet. Holy cow, this is gorgeous. I thought these were cool looking on the internet, but man. Okay. So, yeah, this is the pad that caught my eye, for sure. It's, it's beautiful. It's got like this faux, uh, reptile skin, it kind of looks like snake skin on it, um, with like the decorative rim, which, you know, it looks slick. Um, I believe this is a birch plywood base as well. Um, this one has the, the closed cell EVA foam underneath. This one immediately feels a good amount softer, so I'm thinking this is more for like a kit player, <clears throat> more realistic uh, in terms of it feeling like a drum kit, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This one's a bit heavier. Like, it's not hideous. Like, I definitely have heavier pads than this. 
Um, I would have hit it a little bit. Yeah. Oh man. I. This is great. This one's definitely, definitely quieter. Feels good. Yeah. It's pretty, uh, like, I just want to compare them. Bounce-wise. Because I feel like this one has less. No, it's got more. This one's got a little bit more. This one has a little, little bit more bounce than this one. This one's like, I feel like a really good workout pad. Because it's more articulate, so you'll definitely be able to hear your mess ups. Um, for sure on this one. Um, yeah, this feels great though. Yeah. Uh, so my initial reaction is I'm super stoked to get these, period, and uh, be able to try them out and uh, mess around with them. A uh, cool thing to note about this one is the uh, heads or skins, I guess you should call it, the reptile looking stuff is replaceable, which I think is great. Um, it's a gorgeous drum pad, for real. I've never seen a drum pad that looks like this ever. Uh, and I'm kind of a drum pad connoisseur, so I love this kind of stuff. This is great. Um, yeah, so initial reaction is this stuff is badass. Um, I, I love it so far. I'm going to spend a good amount of time with it, um, with them both, and uh, play around with them and see how they feel, and then I'm going to put up a full review. Uh, so big, big, big thanks to Jeff from Bad Adder for sending me this stuff and letting me try it out. For real, thank you so much. This is some great looking stuff. Uh, you could tell, like, it is quality built too. Like, these are sturdy, um, you know, handcrafted stuff. Like, you can tell there was some love put into this. Um, absolutely great looking stuff. Um, so, yeah, big thanks to Jeff from Bad Adder. And if you guys like what you see, check out badadderdruggear.com. I will put the links, all the links, all the information is going to be in the description, so please, please, please check that out if you guys like this stuff. Uh, it is some great looking stuff, for real. So uh, keep your eye out for some reviews coming up. I'm definitely going to be playing these a lot uh, to get used to it so I can put up some reviews for you guys. So uh, check out badadderdrumgear.com and we'll see you next time.